Welcome back everyone. In this episode of the Python image converter, we'll build the functionalities for the addi addition and the removal of images. So how we can add images and remove images from the application. So when I, when I run it from the previous, you see that um, these ones do not work, but we look at how to add images here and also remove them. So let us get quickly and right into it. We we'll do all of them inside this main class.py, even though we run the run.py so that we don't interfere with anything, uh, which is very important. The first function that we we'll build is the, the function that will add images. Which will be, you can choose to call it add images. And then in here, we want to call for files and then an underscore because the output of what you're about to do will return um, two things, the files itself and then the extensions. We are only interested in the files, not the extensions. That will be from kill file dialog dot get open file names this one and in here we have to specify self we also have to specify the title of the image that we show which can be add images that is the directory where it should open to which i mostly leave it like this in this way it remembers the previous directory that it went to so the the directory that will open is where you visited the last time it makes it a very good choice and i like it and in here we will say that if files that is if the user actually selected some files then um, let's create a list here called self.images which will now set it to an empty list they will store the images here and you understand why i'm doing that very soon so if images, then you want to self.images dot append and you have to declare one for loop here so for image in files. What we want to do is to append the particular image. To the images list and then we also want to add it to the list widgets so self dot list widgets dot add we want to add item but in this case we don't add the name if we add image let me just add image and then i'll show you why uh, this one will not be so nice it, it will not be an error but not true an error but it wouldn't be very nice we'll correct it very soon but one of the things i like to do is to when I especially doing software development is to wrap my stuff in try accept block. So I don't know the exception that will come. So I try to catch it. Maybe exception as E. Then here I can print in an F string um, something like file opening errors or yeah, file opening error. And then I'll output the error itself so that in case I get an error at the terminal, I know where I'm supposed to go and make the fix. So as you know, we have to come here and then make connections. So for this one, we want to connect to the add, add, uh, add images action. I think that's how we call it. So self dot action the only three actions so i think when we start typing action okay add images dot triggered dot connect we want to connect it to self dot add images and so when you run it now you click on the add images it should take us somewhere else 
uh, I think there's an image here we can use. You can see that it's actually brought in the image. If I maximize it, see that it brought in the image, but it's a full path to the image, so that is not what we are looking for. We want to um, get the images done. So I think this is where I'm looking. I was looking for the images themselves, but it threw me somewhere. So let me copy this path. I'll use it again. So instead of adding the path to the images like this, not here, test. Yes. These are images. Instead of adding all the names like this, I actually wanted to add only the image at the end. So all the name of the image like astro.jpg and stuff. In that case, we have to import OS at the top. But if you're using PyCharm like I am, you can skip that importation because PyCharm will do it for us. OS.path and then dot base name that will give us the name. It will give us just the name from the whole directory. So the name of uh, image. And when we do it this way and then we run it again, as you can see, the add files remembers the old directory uh, where the last place I was. And then now it becomes just the names of the images. But we can still keep track of them and work with them because we've stored them in self.images up here. And this was the reason I created a self.images. Let me close this side for space. And try and even bring up the font. So now we are done with that part. Let us see how we can remove an image from the list. We will start with the remove one. Or oh, instead of remove one, remove selected image. I think that one sounds better. So in here we can define remove selected and then we will also check again. But this one, we should first check if images are actually loaded into the application. So if we can check that by checking the length of self.images. So if length of self.images is not equal to zero, then we want to perform the operations that we are doing now. So even if, if there's no image loaded, it will not even bother executing at all. Then we pick the index, which will become the index of what is selected in the list widget. So we want to get what is selected, the index of what is selected. It will be self.listWidget.currentRow, row, not current index. We are looking for current row. Yep, this one. This one will give us the current index of the selected item. And we want to now take the item of so self.listWidgets.take item. That is how we can like remove an item from it. And then we take an item by the index. We can also, then we also have to delete it from the self.images list up here so that we know that it's completely gone from our application. So self dot images dot pop we want to pop out index. Okay. And basically that, that that's all it. So as for good practice again, let us wrap up wrap it in try a set block. If you're wondering how the, or the shortcut I'm using it for on Windows is Control Alternative and the letter T, that will bring up the option for you to select the surround with and all that. So accept exception as E, we can print 
removing image error. And then we can pass in the particular error so that we know exactly where to go and look for it when we face any issues. And I think the remove all will be very similar to this. So we can, what we can do is to just copy this whole line or this whole block of code and then duplicate it down here. But this one will be remove all. So we will still perform the check whether the length of the images is not equal to zero. And then here, we will not need all of this. Remember that the question popped up asking the user whether the user wants to delete it or not before um, the operation continues. So you can ask the question to be equal to kill message box dot question. And then inside here, we pass in self, as always. We also have to give a title for the pop-up that will come, which I'll term as delete confirmation. You can give it anything, of course. And then the message that will be displayed itself, I will say this will delete all images continue and so after the user has been asked this question we can now work on the buttons that will show under that particular pop-up so we want the kill message box dot yes we don't want to be surprised by any default ones that the application has to offer. And then we want the kill message box dot no. But we also want to set the default. After we set the buttons, we can set the default by bringing a comma and then we say kill message box dot no. That means that when the pop up shows, the default one that should be selected should be the no one. So in case the user hits enter, we know that we save the user from probably deleting something he did not, he or she did not want to delete. And then we come down and perform the check that if question is equal to kill message box dot yes, that means if the person chose yes, then we can carry out the operation of clearing the list widget and then also clearing the images. So that'll be this one for the remove all is first checks, uh, ask the user a question, if the user answers yes, then it does it. If not, it will not do it. So let's come up here and think here, removing images error. And then create a connection for all of them. So self.action, remove selected.triggered, dot connect. I want to connect it to self dot remove selected. Then we can duplicate this line because I think they look very close to each other. Remove all, and this one to remove all. Let us run our code and see. Okay, add the images. Remember the previous directory. We can click on this one, remove F, it's gone, survey is gone. What about remove all? The delete confirmation can see that no is selected by default. If I hit enter, nothing will happen. Remove all, yes, and then everything goes. So, yes, we have successfully implemented those functionalities, and that will be all for this video. As always, the link to the uh, the source code is in the description. You can check it out if you have any issues. That will be all for this video. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you another time with another video. Bye for now.